yes so thank you uh the way we reinvented ourselves in all these years like not many districts have come like even our uh, multi district organization which includes all the south asian districts they still look upon us they still look up to the way our district trainers or the way they they don't even understand the concept of what is this district trainers so let me first say what is the role of a district trainer within a district and then let me move on to the process of what is going what we are going to follow in order to become a district trainer a district trainer is a extremely sufficient resource person in our rutrak district who has ample rutrak rotary knowledge and also not just knowledge as an ability to communicate or to teach this knowledge to any or not just rotractor to rotarians as such so we as a trainer are not just subject matter experts of rotary and rotrack every trainer like we have 50 or trainers in our district like every trainer in our district are not just used for taking orientation but if you go and ask them they'll be a subject matter expert in something so if you see afsar afsar is subject matter expert in stock market and investing so i'm i'm uh, i'm very comfortable in teaching employable skills so we have people who are, who takes uh, soft skills training we have uh, trainers who take emotional intelligence training we have trainers who takes sales training so these trainers lot of people lot of protractors career have taken uh, a leap ahead only main reason through rotract is through district trainers workshop so in a nutshell district trainers are extremely resource person who re reinvent who reinvent themselves in days day in day out not out, not just for themselves but for the betterment of this organization and also for humanity so as 3201 we require lot of trainers year in and year out we have uh, 3000 odd rotractors in our district every year coming and uh, floating and leaving but in order to make rotractors understand or make them aware about what rotary is or what rotract does trainers play a huge role in our district so for the folks who have lifted their hands like we can put down your hands thank you and uh, in order to become a district trainer yes uh as go uh, as the years proceed the way the uh, the the way we perceive the prelims or the way we perceive mains have consumed uh, it is drastically changed so as you can uh, i think you can uh, see the screen i believe yes so as you can see there are three phases in any district in, in order to become a district trainer there are three phases and the first phase is prelims and like we can see we have 50 odd participants in this meeting assume that all the 50 want to become a district trainer you can but can all the district all the 50 can be uh, cut down to become a district trainer that's where we have the prelims and mains so district uh, sorry dtws as we commonly call for district trainers workshop so the main event is actually train the trainer program so there will be a trainer who will train you in order to become a trainer in the main event it can accommodate only 20 to 25 rotractors it is a two day inbound in house training program only 20 to 25 rotractors can only be part of this dtws mains so now you would have an understanding of why there is something called as this prelims prelims is just for filtering out rotractors who are so serious about this business of district trainer so we have 50 50 participants we could have 70 or 80 participants who are attending in prelims on a real time basis but all the 75 can become a district trainer yes but the opportunity is limited but the opportunity is equal to everyone so prelims is there so out of 50 20 to 25 will be filtered out and these 25 bunch of rotractors would be put into two day strict stringent rigorous train the trainer program so here like afsar said if you have an interest if you have a passion to become a trainer and this dtws mains is a place wherein all the coal as coal or all the charcoal is being turned into diamond so that is where we 
uh, I mean, the pilot faculty or the trainer would groom ourselves, would, would uh, give us all the facilities and resources and equip ourselves to be a better trainer. And don't forget that we are not just trainers, we are Rotaract district trainers. So train the trainer program, that will make you a better trainer. And you as a certified Rotaract district trainer, you also are you are also expected to have lot of understanding about this organization so and mains event upon completion of dtws mains you will be given certain bunch of task to do the chair for the trainer cell and our drr would list out a certain list of task and upon completing the task all the district trainer designates who uh, uh, all the district trainer designates would have to compile a report, submit it to the district, and there will be a viva voz. And from the district, they'll be questioning us. We'll have to, we'll be sharing our uh, experience as a designate. So upon evaluating all these, you will be certified or you may or may not be certified as a district trainer at the end of the year. So once you're certified as a district trainer by end of the year, you will be in a position to handle individual development programs or club orientation programs to all the Rotaract clubs in our district. Not just for our district, our district trainer cell consists of 50 odd Rotaractors. So these 50 people are not just taking orientation for our district. These people are taking training programs, training of these people train the presidents and secretaries of other districts. These people train the presidents and secretary of our districts. Certain trainers have also trained the DRR of many districts. So when I say all this, now you'll get an understanding about how serious this business of being a certified district trainer. So prelims, upon completing prelims, 20 to 25 retractors, depending upon your level of uh, passion, 20 minimum of 20, maximum of 25 retractors will be passed on to district uh, DTWS mains. In DTWS mains, there's a two day program. There, there'll be input session, and there'll be an output session. So they'll teach you the way you talk, your body language, the present, how to use a presentation aid, how to effectively dress, how to effectively use our body language to communicate our thoughts into audience. So there are a lot many facets like these to be a, a trainer and all these information, all these training aids will be taught to you on DTWS mains. Upon completing of DTWS mains, all the retractors would be called as district trainer designate. So most of your past presidents or most of retractors you last year you would have seen, they would address themselves as DTD, DTD. It is D for district, T for trainer, and D for designate. So upon completion of mains, all the retractors who, are, who have completed mains would be called as district trainer designates. And upon completing of task, all the DTDs should submit a report. And upon evaluating the report, the DRR and the chair for trainer cell together would may or may, may not certify you based upon your level of understanding about Rotaract and the trainer. So there was a typo be, uh, before. So I'm just reiterating the prelims. Prelims is a one day affair. Uh, Within Coimbatore region, we it is happening on 9th of October, and in Kerala region, it could happen in either Palaka, Trishur, or uh, uh, Cochin. In either three, either of these three, not all the three, either of these three regions on 16th of October, and DTWS mains. It is a two-day program. It is a two-day intensive program that will happen within Coimbatore on 5th and 6th of November, and all your task. You have to submit a report by 21st of May 2023, and you'll be having a final YYOs. And in the annual Rotaract District Awards of uh, this year, or by the end of the year, you will be graduated as a trainer. So this is all about district trainer. So let me be, let me move on to uh, break down how to handle these prelims. Like being, we'll take one step at a time. So upon completion of prelims, we'll say how to do like how to mentally prepare ourselves as a as a district trainer designate but as far as prelims is concerned you have three rounds so understand prelims all the retractors are subject to three level of scrutiny 
round one, two, and three. This round one, it is a return test. You will be handed over a question paper. You will be seeing the questions and you will be writing the answers for that question paper. As simple as that. Okay. So round one is a return test. And what kind of questions you can expect in round one is that you will be, as a, I said, you are not just trainers, you are Rotrack district trainers. So there will be a lot of questions based upon Rotrack and Rotary related stuff. So it could be Rotrack news. It could be uh, the history of our district. It could be uh, anything, any, any, any uh, general knowledge stuff with respect to Rotrack. We have a lot of... Uh, jargons we have a lot of procedures and a lot of protocols and a lot of designations in road track so these level of understanding all not every road tractor should be knowing but not necessary that every road tractor is knowing so as a trainer you are expected to know all these road track and road related stuff so where to uh, what to read i'll i'll tell it on uh, the next slide but this first round road track road related questions and also current affairs, all the happenings around our world right now. The reason for, and all, not just current affairs, also general knowledge. The reason for having current affairs and general knowledge is that all the trainers are expected to stay updated with all the informations are happening around the world. You cannot, uh, as a trainer, you cannot study this year and you cannot write the exam two years later. As a trainer, you cannot prepare for this year and you cannot just go and take trainings two years from now. You will have to stay updated. Every trainer, every road tractor, every district trainer designate are expected to be on their toes with all level of current affairs and general knowledge information and the emotional quotient. So first two are knowledge-based uh, questions and the third is emotional question. So you'll be subject to emotional intelligence test just to understand that how human you are. So first two, with your knowledge, you can attempt it. But the third part of is where they'll test your emotional intelligence. So you could be given a situation and they will be expected to how you will be reacting to that situation. So say, for example, after, uh, I mean, there could be a question may or may not. I'm just, just for the sake of example, they, they could ask you a, a question. These kind of questions would be based on how well you apply your knowledge to solve real time problems or to solve or the way you react to your real time situations in your life so having said that so current affairs gk situation based questions and road track basics these all constitute to become round one so after by end of this session we'll give you a walkthrough of the weightage of how much marks that how, how how much marks that these all three hold, but in a nutshell, Rotrack, current affairs, general knowledge, and emotional intelligence. So all these three constitute to become the first round. So having said that, how to prepare for this round one? Where all can I go and take notes for this first round? For Rotrack and Rotary related stuff all the Rotractors in our district or all the Rotractors in the world would have a member login ID at rotary.org. So if you are listening to, uh, to this website for the very first time, you can log into rotary.org website and you will be given, uh, you can create an account for yourself by giving, providing your email address and signing up. You All you have to do is just browse and just see the website. So all you can go you can go visit the website you can you wherein you can find the history about rotary the history about rotrack you can find about the lot of good stuffs or the good deeds rotary and rotrack are doing across the globe so this level of information this level of uh, information re with respect to international standards would be there present in rotary.org and tips and tops manual so unlike all the previous year, last year and this year, from the district to all the presidents and secretaries, they, they are giving a guidebook. So most of you who would have crossed 10th standard, we all know that what is a guidebook is. So it is one such book wherein, again, 
most of the rotary and rotaract related general knowledge information would be available so these tips and tops manual is a book so this is you can go and request your president and secretary if not you can log in to the third thing rotary rotaract3201.org website there you can find this tips and tops manual what is tips and tops manual is training for incoming presidents and secretaries and training of presidents and secretaries so all the presidents and secretaries are given this manual so a digital or e copy of this manual is present in our district website rotaract3201.org so all these places you can find our list of past drrs information our list of uh, all the uh, the history of our district the history of rotaract as such what all the projects are districts or district are doing current year what are the area of focus or it the questions could be as simple as what is called as who is called as drr expand drr to uh, expand like what is who is district governor and there could be fill in the blanks question there could be match the following question there could be choose the correct answer question and that could be expand like they could simply say expand phf you all have to say what phf i am not going to say what phf is now but where you can find what phf is you can find it in tips and tops manual so not just for the sake of attending this dtws prelims but we as a rotractor should be knowing all these general information so all these you could find it most of these kinds you can find it in one shot is tips and tops manual and like i said we have 50 odd trainers in our district so 50 trainers you can uh, put a request to uh, our chair for trainer cell or you can put a request to your club president or secretary they'll be having the information of all these trainers so you can directly reach out to these trainers and say and you can seek uh, support or you can seek mentoring to complete these prelims because all these trainers or most of these trainers would have still attended prelims and attended mains would have completed the viva and they would have got certified and the best of the experience can be can be received not from browsing websites or just going through a manual but while interacting to the real time district trainers and there is something called as district directory actually district directory uh tips on tops manual is the confined or uh, very simplified version of district directory in the, from the district we are not uh, as a practice for the last three years we have not launched district directory because every information is available in our district website but still we want to know the name of the district event which happened four years ago the name of the D uh, name of the drr of our district 30 years ago and its district team and uh, all these information could be get in one shot with which, which could be district directory so i'm just summarizing once again round one root rack and rotary related stuffs you can find it in these five places you can find it in rotary.org if you do not have an id go to rotary.org use your email address sign up log in all you have to do is just just browse the website just surf the website and just consume what all you can see do not memorize or mug up just let it flow into your mind okay and tips and tops manual so it is again a guidebook to all the president and secretaries so you just have to know the level of understanding what you need to have you are going to study or you are going to go through a book which the presidents and secretary of our, of our club are going through member would be given an opportunity to give the, to go through this book now now you know how serious this business is you will be knowing what a president and secretary should be knowing you would be knowing more than what a president and secretary is expected to know and rotrack3201.org which is our very own district website and you can reach out to any of the district trainers i myself is a trainer uh, you can reach out to me or any trainer in our district and district directory our chair for trainer cell rotractor officer is a district trainer. you can reach out to them so this is all about the resources for rotary and rotract so let we'll go on to the q and a session by the end of uh, 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 this session but uh, as far as general knowledge of rotract is concerned this is all about and 
the next obvious thing is resources for current affair and general knowledge if at all i could say the resource for this uh, this question then i think i'll be the i i can uh, all the tnpsc aspirant all the upsc aspirant all the civil services people who are preparing for civil services would be on my doorstep because there is no common one stop shop solution wherein you can get all this information in one shot but but i can promise you one thing or uh, the questions or whatever is going to be asked in current affairs would be the happenings across the globe in recent past months two months from now two months before now so only these kind of these level of current affairs wherein you will be asked so if you ask today is 18th of uh, september today is 18th of september two two months before is august uh, august july 17th of july if you ask whether any any uh, event would be asked may or may not but in a uh, on a vague question two months all the recent past happenings which is limited to two months from now would be asked in the current affairs and general knowledge again this is a knowledge which can be accumulated over years it cannot be accumulated in one night whether you'll be asked the question of what is the horse name of alexander yes whether you i can say wherein you can go to this spot and get this answer no so this general knowledge question you cannot prepare overnight it is just a cumulative accum accumulation of all your knowledge in all these years but as far as current affairs is concerned you will have to go through all the global news which could be sports which could be politics which could be science which could be technology or which could be environment so all these facets all these places the all the happenings across the globe would be asked in the current affairs so politics within country outside country so the what is it could uh, questions could be from what is the latest processor what is the latest within the latest iphone released it could be anything but all these happenings within last two months would be asked in the current affairs and gk it is again right from our ch childhood and right till the very moment what are all the information you have accumulated that will be asked so round one rootract is covered round one current affairs and general knowledge is covered and emotional intelligence like i said you cannot prepare for this round or you cannot prepare for this question the expectation from you is just to be yourself do not impersonate to be someone else just for the sake of clearing this interview because once you do it you will be screwed in later point of time when you go through this uh, when you, when you are in the, this uh, journey of uh, district trainers or in dtd so these would be situational based questions you'll be put into a situation you'll be asked to how you will be reacting to that situation how human you are where or how you apply all your knowledge and skill to solve a real time problem or a real time situation the way you perceive that situation or the way you approach that situation you will have to write it down so do not try to prepare for this uh, emotional intelligence or this emotional qu quotient uh, round just be yourself there but as far as preparation is concerned rootract and current affairs you can you still have an opportunity to prepare now round 1 is done three rounds are there round 1 return round it is done now we'll go on to round 2 which is group discussion so group discussion would be evaluated by a panel of certified district trainers a group discussion as a name suggests you'll be having a group of 5 to 8 individuals you will be put in a group you will be given a topic to talk about a topic could be political a topic could be social happenings or so a topic could be social uh, problem or topic could be technology or it could be anything how we perceive the topic 
and you'll have to talk about the topic not to the person who is evaluating but to your colleagues who are there in that group discussion so a minimum of five to eight members would be const or would be your co-participant in a group discussion the panel or the person who are going to evaluate would be evaluating you on the basis of one, the content, what you talk two, the way you communicate. I'm not saying about the language. I'm saying about the communication part, not the language part. And third is language. La when you say language, it is not verbal communication. It is not English. It is not Malayalam. It is not Tamil. It is how effectively you use that language. Even if you talk in Tamil, you'll have to be so cautious about uh, the way you use the words. And of course, when you say language, verbal and nonverbal language is your body language. So these are the three parameters wherein a panel would be evaluating you. Content what you talk, the, com the way you communicate or how seamlessly or how effectively you communicate. And the third thing is the language you use. Language is the verbal language and non-verbal language is the way you, way you are presenting yourself, the, your body language, the way you use your gestures, the way you sit. Everything would be evaluated just to check how effectively you can become a communicator. So this is a group discussion. So you'll be given a topic to talk about and even if you do not know a single word about the, the topic whatever being given to you, you can still wait, let other participants talk, you can pick up, pick any points from them and you still you can make a living of or you can still make a talk by all by yourself. So you'll have to, you'll be given a topic. The answer or the or the way you discuss or the content, whatever you deliver, should not just be to impress the people who are evaluating you. That the content what you talk should enrich all the other participants. Because this group discussion, this cannot happen overnight. So you'll have to how you can prepare, please go through YouTube videos and also please within your club if you have five or six participants you guys group you can have a zoom meeting you can meet in person you can have a top you can have a table topic session you can all discuss by yourself and also you can you can also onboard any district trainer to evaluate that so again group discussion cannot be this is knowledge and skill based uh, round this cannot be prepared overnight but there are certain facets wherein you will be evaluated that you can that course of correction you can do it overnight the way you talk even other facets wherein you'll be evaluated or how you respect the other participants or the other uh, the your your colleagues thoughts the way you talk like when i say way you talk it is not even when you are contradicting someone's point it should be as diplomatic as possible you, you cannot just barge in when, whenever someone is talking, you cannot just barge in and you cannot talk all your points. You cannot vomit all your points and just sit back. You'll have, you'll be seen how we give opportunity to other people. And again, like I'm, even if you do not know anything about the topic, you still have an option. You still have a provision to crack this round by listening to all the participants. And even if we speak in the very last minute, that is fine. Minimum of 10 to maximum of 15 minutes would be given to a panel to talk about the topic given. So make use of this time effectively. Even if you do not know, if you want to take some time, sit back, relax, and just try to understand as much as uh, information possible from the other colleagues whom, whomever are talking and just give it your shot. So like I said, GD is knowledge and skill-based round. So if you have other if you have uh, participants from other clubs please practice 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 you still have a lot of time left to dtws prelims so whatever i am saying right now it is not just again for the sake of dtws prelims group discussion i i know out of 45 most of us are students 
so this will be very instrumental when you go for a person when you go for an interview or even when you go for higher studies that will be very helpful the for to collaborate with your colleagues or just to check your like even of course most of the interview uh, the mass elimination would happen in group discussion so dtws prelims you are given one such opportunity to showcase your group discussion skill so make the best use of it and the third and the final part of dtws prelims is personal interview personal interview this is a place wherein from the district they'll be seeing you whether you will be qualified enough or even if you're almost there to be a district trainer designate from the district they'll be evaluating you like officer said you know about road track but you are somewhere around to be come a better communicator the panel would evaluate and if at all the panel believes you that you can crack or you can be a, a better trainer if at all right mentoring and right coaching can be given so that they'll be evaluating here you could be asked road track rotary related questions you could be asked personal questions or you could be put on to stress interview you all you also could be given a table topic you also could be given uh are out, right out of nowhere they could give you a topic and ask you to take some session and the way you react to that situation on the very first round i i said the the last part is emotional intelligence or emotional quotient test so that is a written test just think of that test is a face to face test so your personal question personal question is like they won't be asking your instagram id as such but personal questions when you say that it will be like how you perceive road track or how serious you are about to become a district trainer dissing it because there will be certain road tractors who participate in dtws prelim just for the sake of experience there there are certain road tractors who still get through dtws prelims but they do not want to become a part of dtws mains there are district trainer designates who complete district who complete uh, district all the tasks given to them but still they won't be uh, a certified district trainer all these places uh, all these instances wherein if the district thinks that you can be a district trainer designate this is the place this personal interview is where wherein district can see you directly and check whether you will be making it through or not like i said you need not to be exceptionally skilled or talented in order to crack this interview all the expectation from you is that if at all the district uh, sees you as a trainer it is your duty or you are expected to showcase that yes i could be a district trainer i could be an asset to this district this year in particular district is very uh, stringent in uh, in in uh, graduate on selecting rotractors and prelims because there are a lot of dropouts because a cost of becoming or uh, the cost no, more than the time in order for any rotractor to become a district trainer designate and from district trainer designate to a, a certified district trainer the district invests a lot of time on you 50 trainers 30 trainers should be there in prelims 30 trainers should be there in uh, viva hours 30 trainers 5 hours of their effort they assume that 5 hours of one trainer assume that how many hours human hours are being put into for one district trainer to become a certified district trainer more than the time the cost involved or the cost what the district or the host club gives to certified you as a district trainer you will be given you will be spending around 2000 to 2500 for dtws mains but from the host side they will be spending more than 5000 to 6000 rupees they will be going for sponsors just for you guys just for you people to be a better certified district trainer what happens is that rotractor should participate in prelims they'll clear the prelims they'll participate in dtws mains 
they'll say that uh, i'll 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 be the bestest asset to a district but once dtw is means is over we could not find the protractor anywhere in our district there will be there are certain district trainer designates who make efforts who make genuine efforts to complete the task and they get this certified district trainer certificate and they just disappear so this year in particular district is so certain that district is going to employ lot many scenarios lot many checks wherein we have minimal or there there is no dissipation or there is no uh, dropouts in from the conversion of dtds to district trainer district trainers so all the participants out here please understand the responsibility it is prime responsibility of us like it is completely fine that you do, if you uh, if you do the task and you you are not certified as a district trainer that is completely fine because i am i past dr rotract rajay who is a certified district trainer i attended district trainers workshop two times two times in a row i got certified and i got certified as an outstanding district trainer in the year 2013 14 but i attended dtws twice the very reason is that first year i attended i did task i submitted report but i i was not competent or the district believed that i was not competent enough to become a district trainer i took it very personal next year i worked my back off day in day out with all my effort all my passion i did the same task i submitted the report and i got certified along with me there are a lot of i could say lot of stories like lot of outstanding district trainers have attended dtws more than twice so the reason i am saying it to you is that dtws it is not just a one one year affair even if you are not making through this year you have the same opportunity to become a district trainer next year as well but you become a district trainer designate you do not do any task and next year you still attend district trainers workshop this is not the right place for you because you have taken that opportunity of some other rotractor you have taken that slot of some other rotractor even if you have completed the task you have submitted their your report and still you are ma not making it through a district trainer that is fine that is completely fine that's how we learn and that's how we unlearn and that's how we grow but being a district trainer designate and you are not serious about this business and you do not do any task and next year if you are coming down i'm very sorry to say that the chance of being uh, passing this prelims is very minimal because we have huge bunch of first time aspirants who are so keen about becoming a district trainer so having said all these this is all about first round second round and third round i'm summarizing once again district trainers workshop it is a place wherein all the rotractors have equal opportunity to become a certified district trainer or a district trainer so here in this process we have three stages one is district trainers workshop prelims district trainers workshop mains and update or viva vos any rotractor should pass through all the three stages to become a certified district trainer first stage is dtws prelims prelims you will be evaluated your attitude body language communication language your general knowledge everything will be evaluated in prelims and prelims has three rounds round 1 written test of rotract current affairs and emotional intelligence round 2 group discussion round 3 personal interview once you clear that the final cut would be making it through district trainers workshop main there you have a trainer who will be training you on train the it is a train the trainer program wherein the trainer would train you or how to effect how to be an effective trainer you will be given an opportunity to how how to prepare for it could be as simple as how to prepare for a slide or what could be your color combination which you should be using which you you'll, you should be dressed whenever you are going for a trainer or how to conduct uh games or activities for any rotractor so all these things all these things 
all these various facets of becoming a district trainer that will be taught to you in this train the trainer program which is dtws mains at the end of dtws mains you'll be given all the district trainers designates will be given a, a bunch of task curated by drr and the chair for trainer cell so task task i was I, i'm keeping on telling about task task and task until now what are the tasks those tasks could be could be like year on year it is changing it could be taking individual development program for school students could be joining as a co pilot faculty for any district trainers in handling any rotaract orientation or bringing in more number of rotaractors to our district it could be things like these so just reach out to all the district trainers and just ask like what were these this task what you did in order to become uh, from district trainer designate to district trainer so you do all these tasks you compile a report you submit it to the district you attend a viva voice and the district would evaluate you to become a to become a district trainer and throughout this process you are not on your own district is there to support you you are stuck somewhere district is there to support you the chair for trainer cell is there to support you drr is there to support you the entire bunch of 50 district trainers are there to support you the the only thing what what, what is there between the support from you or uh, only, only thing what is standing between you and that support is the way you ask and to whom you ask so having said that by the end of this session the registrations for this district trainers workshop prelims are open and you'll be uh listening from the chair for trainer cell but i'm just breaking breaking the ice for you right now it is being hosted by rotaract club of coimbatore galaxy so the event chair is rotaractor past president vijay vignesh who is also a certified district trainer and rotaractor ritesh who is also a certified district trainer who is the event secretary so further communication for dtws prelims would be you can await it from uh, officer so having said that so before we hand over the proceedings to officer and i am we we both are like officer is also here officer would still once again summarize the process or officer would share the weightage of uh, the marks split up or the blueprint of dtws prelims in a while but if at all you have any questions for this uh, dtws prelims or main you are free to ask now in the chat box or you can put up your hand i can unmute you and i can uh, ask or you can you are free to put up your question in chat box okay so we have a question of how much does one needs to pay for uh, dtws prelims and mains so that i think will be a, a, a minimum of 100 rupees which you will be paying for prelims and uh, a maximum once you clear the prelims a maximum of 2500 rupees or 2200 to 2500 rupees you will be paying to attend this dtws mains program which includes your food your uh, your stay and all the training materials given to you so this is the cost involved to become a uh, uh, financial cost involved to become a district trainer but more than that your time hi so rotractor kevin is saying uh, will the test be mcq or descriptive so kevin uh, the round one questions would it is a mixture of everything so it could be match the following it could be true uh, true or false it could be expand it could be arrange it could be choose the correct answer it could be fill in the blanks it is a combination of everything wherein you can see it in the round 1 written test so of course this one one day or one night is not enough for me to talk about my journey or officer's journey or any district trainer's journey as a district trainer but uh, still i am there we are there to uh, i'm we are there at your service for any of your rotract needs i'm just leaving the floor to officer wherein officer will be briefing about uh, 
the further happenings about DTWS prelims. And uh, okay, so one last question I can take. Hi, now prelims for scrutinies and mains for training, right? Yes, prelims is scrutiny. You will be filtered. 20 to 25 retractors will be given for mains. And there from mains, there will be still be elimination based upon how you perceive the task or how do you do the task. And that is all about that. Thank that is with Kevin CUG. And um, once again, uh, I take this opportunity to thank the chair for train SL Rotractor Officer and the uh, RDR Rotractor Kishore for giving me this opportunity to interact with our uh, future of uh, 3201 or all the district trainers. I sincerely hope I, from my bottom of my heart, I wish all of us, all of you here are district trainers, not just district trainers, best and effective district trainers. And uh, there are a few more questions popping up. I'll, I'll leaving it to officer. So I'm um, thank you once again for this opportunity of giving me to become, uh, to, be, to uh, help you or to give you a walkthrough about this, the preparatory session of uh, district trainers workshop. And thank you and over to Rotractor officer. Thank you so much, uh, PDR Rotractor Ajay Shankar, for taking uh, and breaking uh, breaking down the A to Z of uh, DTWS prelims. I guess you'd have have a complete complete insight about uh, the process of DTWS prelims. So this session mainly is because we have we are encouraging more trainers to come inside. So we are making the process very easy for you. So it's not it's not going to be very tough because. You have to be you when you come to DTWS prelims. I think that's a simple clue or a simple technique that would help you to clear this prelims. And uh, yes, few questions. Okay, so yes, I I will be uh, addressing the road track experience. So uh, coming uh, to the DTWS prelims, you need a criteria. Okay, regulations and the experience. Okay, uh, so it has been asked by Karthik Kwesen and Kavya from SKC. Okay. So there is a criteria to attend a DTWS film. So that criteria has been fixed. So I think we have been following this for all the years. So any Rotractor who have completed one year in the Rotract 3201, for example, let's, uh, let's fix a date here from October 1, 2021. Any Rotractor who have paid the district dues, who have a membership before the membership in Rotract 3201, on or before October 1 of 2021 would be eligible. So, so it's it's because we have prelims on October 2 or October 9. So most probably October 9. So I, we are uh, fixing the date of October 1, 2022. So before uh, a year, it's October 1, 2021. So any road tractor who have paid the district dues on, on or before October 1, 2021, who holds membership in uh, any road track club in a district uh, is eligible to attend DTWS prelims. And uh, you will also going through a, a Google form, which will be circulated once this meeting is over, where you can register yourself for DTWS prelims. So you have to also uh, give an attestation in your club letterhead that from your with the present signature that so-and-so road tractor have been a part of this club and who have completed one year of journey and uh, were made as an active membership in DTWS one So with that consent uh, letterhead from your um, uh, club president will be proceeding with the registration. So this is how it's done. And you'll have the registration fees and details and all. They'll be reaching you. As I said, it will be below 100. So you'll have even some things to be given in uh, prelims. So again, mains, we will have uh, the range of from 2000, uh, 100, 200 to 500. It will be finalized. And so this is something that uh, uh, both Kavya and Karthik have asked. So is there any other questions that uh, that's running in your mind? Do you have to clear about it? So let's wait for two or uh, one minute. If, if you have any questions, you can just put in the chat box. I'll be free to address it. <clears throat> if not, we'll be moving on with, uh, again, a break, breaking down complete part of what will be going on uh, the respective rounds.
Okay, hoping that there is no uh, questions. Maybe you can reach out to me if in case you are having any questions after the session, right? Then okay. So going on to the next slide here. So this roadmap has already been clearly explained by uh, our pilot faculty today. The return test group discussion, personal interview, and uh, to be uh, to break down again, return test will have forty five questions. Okay, so uh, as said, you will have a mix of MCQs, fill in the blanks, rearrange, match the following abbreviation, expansion, and all the stuffs. So it will have around 40 questions. So 40 will have a breakdown of road track knowledge, road track appli uh, uh, applications of road track, and GK uh, along with current affairs. So current affairs asset will be covering two months before. So I think that's most necessary. And you can't cover more current affairs of six months or one year. So to uh, make it even more simpler for you, we'll be taking close to two or three months uh, before, uh, before the date of the prelims event. Yes, so this uh, questions will, uh, you'll be given a time period of one hour. So the, uh, so the 40 questions are the combination of those road track applications of road track, GK and current affairs. The last five questions, so you'll have a descriptive type of questions. So as I said, it is uh, testing your emotional intelligence, emotional co quotient, how, uh, how well you respond to a situation. So, I said it, it cannot be practiced. So I request like you have to just represent yourself being present in a situation and answer the question. So it's not about impressing the people who is correcting the question. Paper. So you have to think uh, your way of, uh, you have your own ideology, you have your way of thinking. So that should be reflected. That is the ultimate aim of all those, getting those five questions that will carry uh, two marks. So ultimately this question paper comes around 50 marks. So 50 marks is this question paper, you will give it, you'll be given uh, a time period of one hour. Done. So after this going on with group discussion, again, briefed by uh, prior faculty, it's a topic. So you will be given a set of topics. So that set of topics, you'll be selecting uh, a topic or we'll be start giving you a topic. So you'll be, uh, uh, there'll be around eight, minimum, a maximum of eight members or maximum of eight to 10 members uh, present in the panel. So you'll be discussing. So the etiquettes of discussing in group uh, discussion has been shared with prior faculty. When you can refer any YouTube videos uh, because it comes only with practice guys. Please, please don't come blindly to group discussion because uh, there are uh, certain etiquettes that you should follow, which will look uh, very unique or very uh, clean when it comes to group discussion. So practice as said, practice, practice only that can give you a, a good output in the group discussion, right? So this is, this questions can be based on anything is like it can be anything. So it is all about discussing, uh, uh, getting your point of view. You, when you have a contradicting uh, statement, uh, how, how about you respect the con uh, contradictory statement? How about you address the contradictory statement? Maybe you are positively biased to a topic, negatively biased, or you're staying neutral. So these are the things that will be uh, uh, screening you uh, in the group discussion part. Again, <clears throat> going with personal interview. So you have, you'll be having a set of panel members. I'm not breaking so much into this personal interview because this is something uh, which, which will have a higher weightage because you will be individually assessed in personal interview that because that is, that is where uh, we have to uh, have maximum weightage. So this, as I said, this can include questions or this can include uh, any stress, like a stress interview. So this is where your complete attitude, behavior, your interest of becoming a trainer and everything can be assessed directly or indirectly. So uh, maybe this, this uh, it doesn't have a time period. So it depends upon uh, the panelist and depends upon the person's answer and so it's not it's not that uh, fixed for ten minutes or five minutes. So it can it can go for even half an hour. So maybe you we find you very very capable and we find you we find you very hard to crack. Then we post uh, very tough questions and see if you are breaking down at some point of time. So it maybe we, we will not uh, uh, pull it to a greater extent, but still this doesn't have a time period. So I think these these are uh, these are the uh, the set of faces that you are going to be having in prelims and mains. So I don't want to break down mains after completing prelims. So you will be scrutinized. You'll be uh, assessed in all three rounds. As I said, you'll be given opportunity to go to the all three rounds. So after which you'll be assessed based on the panelist scoring, uh, after which you'll be, uh, we'll be putting the points table and people who are very talented enough for we are people who are, uh, seems to be very aspirant district trainer. So again, again, I'm telling you, so points is again, uh, it's a criteria to assess you. So 
maybe uh, if if you can come low uh, very low in points but still we find you a very very capable person very interested person in district trainer being a district trainer obviously you'll get a chance so it ultimately depends upon your interest guys so interest and time that you are ready to invest so if that reflects in your answer and all your attitude and behavior automatically you will get a green signal right so this is all about the process guys so uh moving on i think you all are clear please give me a thumbs up or if if everything is clear about the process uh um, let's move on to the next part of the agenda thank you thank you so much uh, i'm getting huge thumbs up in the chat box thank you so much guys if in case in case you have any doubts you can feel free to reach me out uh, i can i can uh, through call or whatsapp i'll definitely reply thank you so much guys uh, so moving on to next part of agenda i would like us to uh, uh, invite the chairman of uh, the films sorry chairman of dtws a uh, road actor uh, vijay vignesh uh, to address the gathering so he has something to share uh, about the films yes as vijay Over to you. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, so, very uh, good evening to all the trainer aspirants of three two zero one. i quite i i feel quite surreal to see all the participants because you know down the line when i was uh, aspiring to become a trainer no no such platforms or really no such sophistications were there like even like five years down the line or 10 years down the line but here you have a proper breakdown of how you should journey towards the prelims and how it has been carried forward till the fi final viva voice so i have just one thing to tell like from the host club side Uh, like myself, Tesh, uh, and the entire uh, team of Galaxy are very much privileged to host you all towards this uh, district trainers workshop seminar, and also with the support of DRR and trainers to share, we have uh, you know come up with a wonderful module, I would say, for the prelims, and post which we would be accommodating the best of the best trainers into the mains, and again post which it goes to the final viva voice. So I just want you people to just enjoy the process of. DTWS, you know, like we are, we are left with roughly we are left with three more weeks. So in these three more weeks, I don't want you people to just rigorously mug up things like that Pasanga movie, you know how they do. Let's not be that way. I just want you people to just, uh, you know, uh, just enjoy the process of learning. Just know whatever uh, happens in the district or like whatever is happening in and around the society. So that that will be it, and everything has been briefed by PDR Rotor Ajay and also. Uh, I'm absurd. So I think like uh, I look forward to host you all with you know a huge open heart, and also trust me, trust trust three two zero one and the host clubs that this would be something really big. Uh, also, we are coming up uh, to Kerala after two long years. Like after Nam year, we are coming again in a physical edition of uh, district tennis workshop seminar. So I think uh, this would be something huge. So one in Coimbatore, one in Kerala, and again we are coming back to Coimbatore for mains. And also at this juncture, I think with the consent of the chair for trainer cell, uh, for all the DTDs who are who are you know post mains, we from the OSA we are looking forward to render the support in conducting the review meetings as well monthly. If if not physically, we'll be we'll assure that we'll help the trainer cell chair or the entire trainer cell in conducting a virtual mode at least for trainers uh, trainer designates to you know make sure they. Carry forward the process in a smooth and you know planned manner. So that is from our end. So we would like to uh, show our film, which is all planned rolling action. So we're just wait, waiting for the action part, which is on ninth and for sixteenth for Kerala and five and six of November for the certified like for the designated trainer designate. So like that's it from the host team side. So yes, uh, as uh, Afsar Na told, we'll be uh, circulating the. you know a uh, registration form link shortly uh, with all the details in it so once you get into the form you will have the details that you need to furnish and also uh, as afsana told make sure you follow and stick on to the criteria eligibility criteria 
so we know we are all in a proper organization and we want you to bind to the eligibility criteria when it's posted so you know there is a lot of people who respect this criteria and step out if they are not el- eligible so to people to the folks who are interested but still if not eligible you you have to brace yourself because you have got one more dtws which will be happening in the 22 23 24 year so every year it will be happening so make sure uh, you prepare in a positive in a, you know uh, in a more of a delicate way so that's it from my end all the very best looking forward to see you all in films and uh, yeah let's celebrate bro thank you over to opsan thank you so much the even chair of digitainers workshop i think uh, when vijay comes the team of galaxy and gives you a very comfy environment for all the films mains i think half the problem is over so vijay would take care of the responsibility to give you a good environment uh, so i said enjoy the it will have an environment where you can enjoy the process of becoming a district trainer so thank you vijay for addressing and next over to our celebrate riara to others gathering so yes on this uh, wonderful sunday evening i think it's almost like uh, 1 hour 30 minutes it's been so so thanks a lot for joining us first of all and uh, yes absur uh, and uh, our uh, trainer pilot faculty uh, dr atul ajay tanker so have uh, explained the things very clearly what we are expecting okay what and how you need to prepare for the dtws for elms okay so most of things are common over here and just as uh, pointed out by absur along with uh, vijay the chair for uh, pulse please do enjoy the process okay it's a, it's, it will be completely a fun filled but you need to be quite serious even though like i know uh, there are few questions and criteria which we have it has set as an um, entry for the um, district even prelims for to, to attend the prelims but whatever it is just ensure uh, you you pass the criteria and also uh, probably will share this recorded session uh, in the whatsapp group and also through the email so you can just share the same to the uh, club members so let them know what it is happening uh like how to prepare for the dtws and i will keep you posted regarding the venue uh thanks a lot uh for joining us thank you for your time thank you so much celebrity rr for your address and uh, proceeding with the next part of the word of thanks so i take privilege in thanking the celebrity drr for giving us an opportunity and a platform to uh give them a, an insight about the preparatory session about this kind of workshop prelims and a little bit of mains and i wholeheartedly thank uh, the pilot faculty of the day dr ajay shankar uh, who ha- has been very instrumental in uh, uh, educating all uh, the aspirants here with uh, complete a to z of prelims and journey and maybe we will uh, get a time to uh, share his own experience of becoming a district trainer outstanding district trainer i would say so i guess you have benefited uh, the most out of it and before uh, moving on with uh, adjournment i would say one thing that that should be from in your heart till uh, the end of uh, this prelims so if, when you uh, invest most of the t- time in bleeding yourself in the training you will bleed less in the war right i repeat when you take more time to bleed yourself in training you would bleed very less in the war you can win the battle right so have all this in your mind train yourself for prelims i said it's serious business you can't just come uh, two days before and ping me ping the district trainers uh, sir chairman and say and an important questions la mark panni kudunga that that that, that uh, won't work out here so you have to start preparing from now i think every uh, resources everything has been clearly explained to you so it's again it's completely in your hands and i said we'll will be all here <clears throat> all the district trainers will be here to support you thank you so much guys so for being very wonderful and patient audience joining on time thank you so much guys and looking forward to see all of you all the 40 plus of your pals friends here to turn up to prelims and you have the interest will definitely make you a trainer please don't uh, have too much seriousness and be afraid about this process this is very enjoyable process enjoy the process and together uh, let's celebrate rotak thank you so much for joining and uh, over to the dr celebrate drr for the adjournment Pulse, the preliminary session, or the preparatory session for the preliminary, is here by Ajay.
thank you so much thank you so much guys for joining thank you celebrate drr and uh, you're, yes you are now free to leave the meeting thank you so much